Shalom. That is to say from the Paleo Hebrew to the English, all praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, who the world calls God, whose name means He is or He exists. Bashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, whose name means He deliverer or He salvation. Bashim Rakakwadash means in the name Holy Spirit, all right, that we've been blessed with in order to. You know, break down these scriptures, you know, accurately and more perfectly. All right. Then I said double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Okay. The ones who are the ones who taught us this truth. All right. Who do rule well. All right. And definitely worthy of, of, of those double honors. Okay. Of Great Millstone. Then I said peace to the election, brothers and sisters. All right. For, for those of you, um, the men out there pushing the work and the women who support. All right, the sisters who support, you know, their husbands or just support the truth in general, all right, who give tithes and offerings, all right, in, in goodly words, all right, and who's not bucking up, okay, so, you know, salutations to you, all right, peace to you, all right, then I said peace, love, and blessings, shalom, ahab, wa ba all right, Kaya here back with another video, and I want to do this video, you know, basically, you know, uh, identifying missiles, in the scriptures, because missiles, all right, missiles, all right, the word missile, okay, is not in the Bible, okay, and the reason why I'm doing this is, is for, you know, uh, newcomers, anybody new to the faith, and still learning the scriptures, you may, you may have questions like, oh, well, how does the Bible, you know, uh, talk about, you know, 200 million missiles, or how does the Bible talk about missiles hitting uh, America, Babylon, where's America in the Bible, so on and so forth, etc, etc, which is fine, and all of those are reasonable questions, okay, there's, there's nothing wrong with asking those questions, like, where would you find missile in the Bible, because missiles, the word missile is not in the Bible, okay, so what, the, the, the prophets, in their visions, and things of that nature, they, they saw objects, they saw the missiles, but they saw objects that, that, they, they can only, you know, utter in the, um, in the in the language that they had in their time, which is the Paleo Hebrew, so they they call refer to the missiles as arrows, and things of that in nature. Because when you look at when you look at an arrow and you look at a missile, they they seem very similar. Okay, a missile is just a, a giant arrow if you can receive it. Okay, so for those of you who may have questions about how to you know how would you find or how would you identify missiles in the scriptures, I, I'm going to go into this video and Lord's willing is edifying. Okay, so this is the book of Revelation chapter nine verse sixteen. It says, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, 000. and I heard the number of them. Okay, so 200,000, 000, when you look at the NLT on the, on the New Living Translation on the right-hand side of the screen, it says, I heard the size of their army. And this is, um, this is John the Revelator, not John the Baptist. All right, this is John the Revelator, okay? It says, I heard the size of their army, which was 200 million mounted troops, so 200,000, 000. Okay, it's two it's uh two hundred million. Okay. So it says in the number of the army, I'm still at verse sixteen, and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard the number of them. Okay, so the missiles are, are likened unto horsemen. All right, when you look at horsemen, matter of fact, let's just you know all for the sake of edification, man. Horsemen. All right, when you when you when you when you see horsemen, when you look at horsemen, what they they're mighty, they're mighty, okay, they're mighty. The the horsemen are mighty, okay, because uh, you know a man on a horse that's that's double the power, that's double the strength, okay. Because what you got horses, horses already you know powerful animals and powerful creatures, okay, and and very swift and things of that nature, okay. It's talking about the missiles, all right. This is called the um. Believe the word similitude. Similitude. Right? It says the quality or state of being similar to something. Once again, when you look at an arrow and a missile, they 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 they, they look very identical. They look very identical. So that would be called a similitude. And the scriptures is full of similitudes, man. Alright, comparing America to Babylon in Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, in Marathayim, in Picard, 
and things of that nature, okay? And, and many other names, by the way, daughter of the Chaldeans, daughter of Babylon, okay? America synonymous with, uh, synonymous with all of these things, what? Because America, you know, enforces, you know, uh, the confusion, all right? And, and the, 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 um, the mixed doctrines, okay? So it's the same thing with the missiles, all right? So it says, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, 000. and I heard the number of them. Verse 17, and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. OK, so once again, this is talk about the missiles. All right. It, but the missiles are being likened unto horsemen. And, and, and then it says what it says in the heads of. Of the horses were as the heads of lions okay this is not literal this is not literal because I can almost guarantee you that if I look the scripture up our images of the scripture up on Google right now it's literally gonna have a horse with the head of a lion okay but once but once again the descriptions are very parabolic this is just the way that the uh, first of all this is the way that the Heavenly Father delivers his message okay at times sometimes the scriptures are direct Sometimes the scriptures are indirect, okay? And this is why having teachers is important, okay? This is not literally talking about horses with the heads of lions, all right? This is, this is talking about the strength, the mighty, the power of the intercontinental ballistic missiles, the ICBMs, okay? It says, and the heads were of, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, meaning fierce, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke in brimstone okay because when you look at when you look at um a missile launch as a matter of fact let's go to youtube real quick all right when you when you when you when you um look up a missile launch missile launch video let's see if we can find something real quick through the spirit man north korean tv it's like it's just blowing with me All right, let me see if I could um so so I, all right, hold up. Let me let me pause it right there, right? So, it's like let me put this on do not disturb. All right, so this is a missile. This is an intercontinental ballistic missile, right? And these these are the North Koreans which which if I'm not mistaken they go back to Moab. Okay, Mawa Alba. All right? So this right here in this picture in this thumbnail right here, this is an intercontinental ballistic missile. All right, and it's being transported. All right? So now all right, let's do it right here, right? This is a missile launch, and this is what the scripture is literally talking about, right? Where it says, And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone, right? All right, so now check this out. All right, so as you can see, the intercontinental ballistic missile is being set up to launch, right? You see that fire and brimstone okay out of their mouths issued fire and brimstone okay because look and it was it was shot out of that silo all right the missile was shot out of that silo man okay so uh, it's like i was trying to zoom in i can't exactly zoom in okay but um as a matter of fact we can do this that this missile right here it was shot out of the silo, you can't really see it now because the, the smoke, the fire is covering it. The smoke of the fire is covering it. All right, but this missile right here was shot out of the silo, okay, and into the air, man. That's literally what the scripture is talking about, okay? It says, in the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. So there you go, all right? It's, it's all parabolic, okay? It says, by these three by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths yeah this is talking about you know the battle of armageddon Armageddon, okay the mountain of troops the valley of troops 
okay, which is going to take place in the Middle East. I'm not going to pull it, all right, but that's what this is talking about, man. World War III pursuing a Revelation 11 and 14, okay? So what, you're going to have a lot of people, our own people as well, because you got Jake in the military, okay? You gonna have you gonna have Jake getting killed out here. You gonna have you gonna have you know the wicked, the more wicked of our people getting killed out here. Okay, but what in this time, all right, the election, the one hundred forty-four thousand and one third is gonna be delivered by way of chariots. All right, but Lord's willing, that's a video for another day. All right, so uh, Revelation nine and nineteen it says, for their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. Once again. Talking about the missiles being shot out of those silos. Okay, the heads and the tails is filled with, 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 with fire and other elements. Okay, representing the, the destruction. All right, that's why it says what? It says, for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads. And with them they do hurt. So let's play the video back, right? About right here. It's likened unto a snake You know I mean that one was more straight Because you know a, a snake slithers And things of that nature Okay but, but what it was, it was likened unto a, a snake A serpent Okay Sometimes when these missiles get, get shot up in, into the air Because what they're, they're defying gravity By reason of the fire and the brimstone Within them And things of that nature Okay all of those elements in them Okay sometimes they do you know a, 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 a slither like a snake into the air Okay it's, and it says what? It says, and with them, they do hurt. Okay? It says, uh, verse 20, it says, and the rest of the men, which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor walk, neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. All right? When, this is basically talking about the wicked, man. All right, the wicked of our people and the wicked of the world. All right, they, they, the ones who who is not going to repent of the, of their their uh, unrighteous doings. Okay, but that's like I said, Lord's willing a video for another day. But um, that's pretty much the point, man. All right, so Revelation nine. You can start at verse sixteen. You know, read into verse nineteen, talking about the missiles. All right, in the Bible, so to have that understanding. All right, the, the, the understanding of the similitudes between the arrows and the missiles. Okay, let's go ahead and get this. And there's a few scriptures. There's a few scriptures talking about the missiles being likened unto arrows. Okay, Jeremiah, in the book of Jeremiah, Yeramiah, chapter 50, verse 9, it says, For lo, and this is a future prophecy, by the way. This actually hasn't happened yet. It says, For lo, I will raise and cause... To come up against Babylon. All right, this is talking about a future Babylon. It says, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. All right, which is talk about Russia because you know Vladimir Putin has plans, has plans to, to, to invade America, to invade the West, right? It says, And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrow shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Okay, so so what? These arrows, all right, which is talking about the missiles, uh, the missiles, they're gonna be shot, okay, at America. And what they're not gonna return, they're not gonna be in vain, they're not gonna miss. Okay, it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit their mark. All right, which it, it, it's gonna be plenty of people that's gonna get destroyed by these intercontinental ballistic missiles, right? Goodness fucking grief, man. Um All right, going back. All right, so that was Jeremiah 15 and 9. All right, Jeremiah 15 and 14. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon. Round about, all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord. Yeah, Babylon, this Babylon is talking about America. This is literally talking about America, man. 
okay? And what? These other nations, you know, like, like North Korea and China, okay, and Iraq and the rest of these nations, they're going to shoot their missiles, their ICBMs, okay? They're going to shoot. They're going to the, uh, shoot these objects, like the one I just showed you in the video. They're going to shoot these objects at America, man. And these missiles, because America is going to be shooting back, of course, okay? But ultimately, uh, like a lot, of the, a lot of these nations, are a lot of their people are going to be destroyed in the, in the what, thermonuclear destruction, man. Okay? World, Wars, World's War, uh, World War III. A lot of people are going to be destroyed, you know? So once again, these arrows is, is, is talking about missiles, man. All right, Jeremiah 51 and 11, it says, Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. All right, talking about the Russians. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. Okay, so the reason why this world's war is going to happen, why these missiles are going to be shot from one place to another, all right, is vengeance from the Lord for the destruction all right, of his temple, who is Israel. All right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, and all these nations' atrocities against us, okay. Now another scripture, and then I'm gonna close out because I, I really, I really hit the point. I really hit the point. All right, but I'm gonna get this in Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse thirteen. This is in the Apocrypha. It says, "For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow; his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world." So there you go, man. So plenty of scriptures, you know, talking about um how arrows are, are likened unto missiles, man. All right, which we received that breakdown from the elders and the apostles by reason of the Holy Spirit that the Lord blessed us with. You understand? So Lord's willingness was edifying because I wasn't trying to make this, you know, too long. It's just, you know, uh, you know, you, you know, Jake got questions like, uh, uh. Uh, how would you find missiles in the Bible? Which, which that is, that is a beautiful and that's a fair question. How would you identify or find missiles in the Bible? So, you know, Lord's willing, I brought out enough scriptures for you to understand. Okay, and um, the two hundred thousand thousand, the two hundred million missiles pursuant to Revelation nine. Okay, the two hundred thousand thousand horsemen and things of that nature is it is talking about the missiles. All right, Lord's willing, this is edifying. Shalom.